YouTuber Sam Pepper posted a video saying that he staged his most recent prank in order to make a point about domestic violence, to which the NFL said, oh, that's how you get off the hook. Hey folks, welcome to The News Show. I'm Ross Everett and I owe Sam Pepper an apology. Yesterday on the show I pointed out how Sam Pepper's prank video where he grabs strangers' butts is not a prank. Sam asked us all to wait for it and then released another video of a girl grabbing guys' butts and now according to Sam, all those people were actors and the video was posted to make a point. Which is actually, when looking at the five reasons I laid out yesterday, indeed a prank on us, the audience. So now do we just sit and wait for a video that explains all of his pranks are staged, like this one? No, no, it's a joke, it's a, it's a prank! But that's besides the point. Now let's take a look at the message behind the big reveal that's going to absolve Sam Pepper and call off this witch hunt. Men can also be the victims of sexual harassment, even though you might be led to believe that's not true. Female or male domestic abuse is pretty taboo. I don't want to undermine the issue of domestic violence and sexual harassment against men, but I do want to undermine Sam Pepper as an advocate for it. Because while these butt pitching videos were faked, there have been a few other videos of his in the same vein that were uh, not. I've taken the liberty to re-edit Sam's reveal video to more accurately depict the true message that his videos deliver to viewers. Take a look. The majority of viewers were disgusted by such displays of open sexual harassment. Like handcuffing women. I just need to put this. No, can you get away from me? Women are sexually assaulted every day in millions of seemingly small ways. And sometimes really big ways. Come on. I don't just post pranks, I post videos that change your opinions on something. Like lassoing a woman the way a cowboy would rope a steer. The majority of viewers were disgusted by such displays of open sexual harassment. Do you like unattach us? <laughs> yeah. Or a kiss. This wasn't anti-woman's right or anything like that. Okay, I don't know where you're from, but we don't do this in America. Can you take this off? Domestic abuse. Men are the stronger of the species. Victims. And if you see someone doing something wrong, regardless to whether it's a man or a woman, step in and help them out. What the what fuck is that line? Hey, hey, watch out, bro! Yo, no, hey, man! I fucking. That's how it should be. We should be offended by such acts. I understand wanting to take a stand against domestic violence, but you're kind of like a lion standing up for poaching, but just for lions. It's like saying discrimination is a problem for Mexicans in this country, and I will explain why as soon as you get that gay Chinese guy out of here. Domestic abuse should not be a gender issue. If you want to tackle domestic abuse, tackle domestic abuse as a whole, because it's kind of hard to fight for cancer when you're too busy blowing smoke up everyone's ass. But hey, isn't some awareness better than no awareness. He was just trying to do a good thing for a friend, you asshole. Almost. But if the issue of domestic violence is broken down by gender, then what does that say about gender equality? That one gender is more important than the other? So Sam, I am sorry for the video yesterday. You got us good in that sense. But what would really get us good is if you used your power to promote equality rather than the symptoms of inequality. You can't wave a picket sign in one hand and create the problem with another because as Sam has shown us, he has a third hand that he's going to use to grab our ass. Do you think that Sam Pepper's videos illustrate the point he was trying to make? Let me know in the comments down below. And also, if you like this video, please click the like button and share it with your friends. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. We make videos every weekday like this one. Take a look. Number one, it's assault. What? You mean grabbing someone's body without permission isn't a hysterical prank? Nope, it's a hysterical misdemeanor. Even Billy Madison, a 27-year-old third grader, knows the difference. I dare you to touch your boobs. Touch your boobs? That's assault, brother.